everybody has been wondering, is AMD going to bring more than eight cores to the third gen Ryzen desktop processor family? And today, I'm very happy to say the answer is absolutely yes. <laughs> Good morning, Taipei. This morning, we're going to talk about a lot of different things. We're going to give you a brief update on where we are with our data center products, the second generation Rome. We're going to talk a bit about Navi. And then third generation AMD Ryzen CPUs. So with that, let me bring you to our first announcement of the morning. You saw what we could do in supercomputing capabilities. And what we're announcing today with Microsoft is we are bringing that supercomputing capability of scale into the Azure cloud. And the idea here is that we have the ability to have the largest cluster of Epic CPUs, over 10,000 CPUs, that will really allow you to simulate very, very large tasks. And our first customer has already said that they have been able to get over 7,500 times speed up by using the Azure Cloud with Epic compared to what they could do before. I also want to give you an update on our second generation Epic processor, Rome. It's built on 7 nanometer technology. It's up to 64 Zen 2 cores. It has incredible compute and I.O. and bandwidth capability because of the way we architected this device. In our labs and in our customers' labs is we see up to twice the performance, 2x the performance per socket compared to our previous generation. And on floating point workloads, we see up to 4x. You really need to build a GPU architecture that goes across PCs, consoles, and the cloud. And that's exactly what we set out to do. So Navi is our new family of Radeon GPUs. Just last month, Sony announced the first application of Navi. They announced that their next generation PlayStation is going to be powered by AMD with our semi-custom portfolio using Navi as well as our Zen 2 products. When I talk about Navi, I also talk about Navi as it relates to our PC products. Navi has an all new seven nanometer RDNA architecture. When you look at the architectural improvements of RDNA in our first generation compared to our Vega gaming generation, what we see is 1.25x performance per clock. And then when you put that together, both the architecture, the design capability, as well as the process technology, we're seeing 1.5x or higher performance per watt capability on the new Navi products as a result of our DNA. So let me introduce you to the first Navi GPU. You'll see that on average, the RX 5700 GPU beats our competition by roughly 10% performance in this very early edition of the game demo. So I'm super excited about that. So we will be launching everywhere in the world at retail and e-tail available in July. Are you guys ready? Yeah. The core truly is the engine of our third gen Ryzen. And Zen 2 is an incredible core. And so today, I'm happy to share with you that Zen 2 in the PC workloads actually achieves 15% IPC uplift. So let's start with the very first third gen Ryzen product. The 3700X is the world's first 7 nanometer desktop CPU. It has 8 cores, 16 threads, 4.4 gigahertz boost frequency. 36 megabytes of total cache, and all in an amazing 65 watts of TDP. The second gen Ryzen is a great set of products, but what we're seeing with the 3700X is significant double digit performance in both single threaded and multi threaded workloads at that significantly lower power. And as we churn through this realistic ray traced scene, you may notice that the Ryzen 7 3700X is uh, 
quite a bit faster. In fact, it's about one third faster than the competing part. So let me introduce you to the next member of the Ryzen 7 family, the Ryzen 7 3800X. The boost clock goes up to 4.5 gigahertz, 36 megabytes of total cache, and you see this is now at 105 watts. So take a look at the improvements. And you can see tremendous double-digit performance improvement because we really believe gaming performance is critical and we designed the 3800X for gaming performance. Both of them eight cores, 16 threads. And the great thing about it is this beautiful PUBG demo that we built and recorded to reliably test the performance of this game. And what you'll see is that both processors are about the same. And in fact, that's ideal. I know as a gamer that I want a processor that gives so much performance to the GPU that it's out of the way. I don't even have to worry about the fact that my GPU is being bottlenecked by the processor. So what we want to show you next, Robert's going to help me, we're going to show you the 3800X with the new Navi Radeon RX 5700 series with X570 motherboard and with a tremendous amount of I.O. capability using PCI Express Gen 4. So this is actually the world's first PCI Express Gen 4 ready gaming PC. We built two systems on your left, a PCI Gen 3 system, and on your right, exclusively and uniquely from AMD, a PCI Gen 4 system. And this is running the upcoming 3D Mark PCI Express feature test, which is designed to answer the question, how much extra graphics performance can you get from PCI Gen 4 versus Gen 3? And the answer is clear, and it's large. Up to 69% more performance for graphics from having PCI Gen 4, which you Let's can only get that from AMD. AMD. AMD is pushing gaming beyond eight cores, and today I am so proud to introduce the new AMD Ryzen 9 family. Take a look at AMD Ryzen 9. Is this beautiful or what? The Ryzen 9 3900X is the absolutely first mainstream desktop processor with 12 cores and 24 threads. We have 4.6 gigahertz boost, 70 megabytes of total cache, and it's all in 105 watts. This is a $1,200 processor on the left versus the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X on your right. And what you see from every box is a processing thread. And as we come to the finish, the difference is clear. We finished in about 32 seconds versus the competitor's 38 seconds. And that's about an 18% performance improvement for AMD. And we're going core to core, 12 versus 12, which means Zen 2 is simply faster. Third gen Ryzen is amazing. When you look at the 3700X, what we believe is the price point for an entry level eight core device should be $329. And when you move up to the 3800X, again, we want as many people to have this as possible. So this will retail for $399. And finally, the Ryzen 9 family. We love this guy because we love that we can bring something to the market that nobody has ever done before. We compared against our competition whose device is more than $1,100. But we believe that we want as many people as possible to have the Ryzen 9 3900X. So when this goes on sale, it will retail for $499. That's half the price. That's half the price of our competition with much, much more performance. I am very, very proud to tell you that all of these processors go on shelf on July 7th.